वेलकम बैक एवरी वन सो इफ़ यू हैव रिसेंटली बॉट एन यू बुन टू मशीन और इंस्टॉल यू बुन टू लेनक्स ऑन अ रियल और अ वर्चुअल मशीन दैन देर आर सेवेंटीन इम्पॉर्टेंट वर्क दैट यू शुड डू इमिडिएटली विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स क्विकली गेट स्टार्टेड So the very first thing that you will have to do, you need to add your current user to the sudo group so that you should have enough permission to perform any kind of command in the Ubuntu terminal. Now, exactly what will happen once you install the Ubuntu, and you right-click on your desktop, choose Open in Terminal, and in the terminal, when you try to run any kind of command like sudo space apt update, so you will be getting this kind of error that says this user is not in the sudo's file. This incident will be reported. So every time you perform any kind of command, you will not be able to do that until you add this current user to the sudo group. So for that, what you have to type here: su. Hit the enter key. Type your current password. Hit the enter key again, and now you will be inside the root. And then finally, type user mod space dash a capital G space sudo space, and then you have to type the name of your user account. So either you can copy from here or you can manually type and hit the enter key and then you will have to finally go ahead and restart your computer and after that you would be able to perform any kind of command without any problem. So in order to reboot just type reboot and the computer will be rebooted. All right, so once the computer gets restarted, now next you have to make sure that the system is updated and upgraded. Now updating and upgrading is really important to ensure that you have the latest security patches and the bug fixes and it's very easy to do again right click on your desktop then click on open in terminal and here in the terminal you have to type sudo space apt space update hit the enter key type the current password of your account again hit the enter key and this time it will start updating your system and now you can see we are not having any kind of error we are not having any problem because in the previous step we added the user in the sudo group all right so once this command is completed next you have to type sudo space apt space upgrade then press the y key again hit the enter key and the upgrading will be started now this may take some time so you will have to wait until it's all been done all right so once the system has been updated and upgraded Next, what you have to do, you need to install the Genome Tweaks. Now, Genome Tweak is a powerful tool that allow you to customize look and feel of your desktop environment. You can change your desktop theme, icons, fonts, and many more things. So, for that, open up your terminal again. Type sudo space apt space install space genome dash tweaks. Enter the password for your account, then hit the enter key. And the installation will be started so again you will have to wait for some time until it's all been done and once the genome to get installed in order to open it you will have to click on this app dock then in the search you can look for tweaks and here you can enable the tweaks once enabled you will be getting this kind of dashboard and here you can just look over the functions and feature that you get you can go to the appearance you can just change the cursor, the icon that you want to. You can change the font. You can choose the keyboard and mouse. You can play with the top bar, windows title bar. A part of this, you can also come to this website that is extension.genome.org. And here you can find different kind of themes. You can look into it, whichever you like the most. You can click on it. And then you can click on install and follow the steps. Now, if you need a detailed video on any of the specific topic, then you can let me know in the comment section. I will be surely coming back with a dedicated video. And now let's move with the next recommendation where it's recommended that you should go ahead and install your favorite browser. So by default, the Ubuntu comes with the Firefox browser. But additionally, if you want to enjoy any other browser like Chrome or Opera, then you can also download it. So open up the Firefox browser and type Chrome download for Linux. Hit the enter key. Click on this link, Google Chrome, the fast secure web browser. Click on download Chrome. And here you have to choose 64bit.dab for Debian Ubuntu. Alright, so make sure that you go with this option only. Then you can click on accept and install. And the Chrome installation will be started. Additionally, you can also do with the terminal. I will leave the command how to install the Chrome browser through the terminal. And now next you also need to install a VLC media player. So VLC media player is a popular multimedia player that support a wide variety of 
format and without the VLC media player you might get some kind of error message while playing any kind of media. So installing VLC media player is very simple. You will have to bring up your terminal and here type sudo space apt space install space VLC. Hit the enter key then press the Y key and the installation process will be started. Once the VLC media player get installed, you can view all kind of your application by clicking on this app dock and here you will find the VLC media player. Ok now let's move with the next recommendation where you have to also install the GIMP as GIMP is a powerful open source image editor that can be used for a wide variety of tasks such as photo, retouching, image composition and graphic design. Again installing the GIMP is very simple, you have to type sudo space apt space install space gimp press the y key to continue and the installation will be started okay now the next recommendation is very important for the user who want to access any kind of word document or excel sheet so here we will be installing the LibreOffice, and it is a free and open source office suit that include a word processor a spreadsheet and presentation software again installing it is very simple task open up your terminal and type sudo space apt space install libre office again hit the enter key press the y key to continue and this installation process will be started and once it will be installed you can easily view it by clicking on the application dock and here you will find the word excel you can click on it and you can start accessing them Alright now let's move with the next recommendation where I would recommend you that go ahead and install the additional driver on your Ubuntu machine. So while installing Ubuntu it install all open source driver but you need to assure that all the hardware drivers are being updated. And in order to find out right click on the desktop click open in terminal and here type a simple command that will be lspci. Hit the enter key. Now this will list you all kind of adapters all kind of hardware that are being connected and now in order to update the additional driver you will have to click on the app dock again click on the search box and type here software then click on software and update in software and update you have to click on additional drivers now this will be searching for any available drivers and if there is any update available it will let you know you will have to select it and then click on apply changes and this recommendation is really important so that your hardware drivers should work properly without any kind of problem. And now next we will be installing the Steam application. And if you are a gamer, you may want to install the Steam to access a wide variety of game. And it's very easy to install. Right click on your desktop. Then click on open in terminal. And here you have to type sudo space apt space install steam. Again hit the enter key, type the password for your user account, press the Y key to continue and the installation of the Steam application will be started. So wait for some time until the installation has been completed. And once it gets installed, again click on the application dock and here you have to search for Steam. The Steam application will be displayed, click on it and now it will be updating Steam and then you can log in to the steam account in order to download and enjoy any kind of game okay now next we will be speeding up the app launch time with the preload so the preload is the daemon application and run in the background preload analyzes the user behavior and track what application are running frequently by the user and based on this analysis it predicts what application the user might run next and fetches those binaries and their dependencies into memory and hence increase the startup time of the application. So for that again bring up your terminal and type here sudo space apt space install space preload. Hit the enter key and the installation of the preload will be started. And once it get completed the next time when you will try to open up any application so you will find that it's working much faster. The opening time and the closing time will be also decreased. Okay, now next we will be customizing the dock of the Ubuntu to make it more attractive and look more beautiful. So for that you will have to bring up the settings. So click on this right in top. Then click on settings. In the settings from the left in menu option you will have to click on appearance. Then come to the dock section. And here it says position on a screen. So if you want 
the dog position on the left hand side then you can keep it but i personally want to keep at the bottom so i will choose bottom then it says the icon size so you can reduce the size now you get another option here the panel wood by default it will be enabled and it will look like this but if you disable it the dog will be looking up like this which looks more good to me all right so this is the setting that i will be keeping if you want to make any kind of changes then you can do that then you get configured dog behavior and you click on it it says show volume and devices so if you want to show it then you can enable it if you want to disable the trash icon then you can disable it i want to keep it so these are the customization that you must make with your dog so personally i love this kind of dog and i would recommend you that you should also go ahead and have this kind of dog on your ubuntu machine okay now after this we will be also enabling the minimize on click so what basically happened when you bring up any of your application like file explorer the minimize option doesn't work properly so for that what you have to do right click on the desktop click on open in terminal and here in the terminal you have to type a command that will be g setting space set space org dot genom dot shell i will be leaving this command in the description in fact all the command will be in the description you can copy and paste now once you paste the command and hit the enter key after this the next time when you will be minimizing anything it will be working perfectly all right guys so now next we will be also customizing your desktop environment and ubuntu offer a variety of desktop environment that you can choose from such as genome kd xfc and each desktop environment offer a different look and feel and may be better suited for certain tasks or preferences and in order to install it again you have to right click on your desktop click on open in terminal and in the terminal you have to type sudo space apt space install space ubuntu dash desktop hit the enter key type the password for your user account once it's been completed next you have to type sudo space apt space install space ubuntu dash desktop space hash or kde again hit the enter key press the y key to continue and wait until the installation has been completed and now next it's also recommended that you should connect all kind of account to your ubuntu machine so that you can enjoy all kind of features and access for that click on the right hand top then click on settings and here in the setting from the left hand menu option you will have to click on online account and here you should go ahead and connect ubuntu single sign on google next cloud microsoft whichever you use go ahead and connect it so that you can enjoy the additional features and benefits and now after this you also need to install the flat pack packages and flat pack packages are another packaging format for linux application that make it easier to install and update software and in order to install it again right click on your desktop click on open in terminal and in the terminal you have to type a simple command that will be sudo space apt space install space flat pak again hit the enter key type the password for your current user and once it get installed you can then search for flat pack packages in ubuntu software center or install them from command line using the flat pack command now additionally what else you can do you can come to this website and here in the quick setup you have to click on the ubuntu and from here you can download the repository and even you can download the plugin by copying these command so copy the command go back to the terminal and run it so that it can download the plugin and the repository and once you have finally installed the flat pack and install the repository and the plugin then you can also come to this website of flathub.org and here you'll find all kind of application that you can download and enjoy on your ubuntu machine so there are many popular applications like Discord, the Brave browser, Spotify, Team, Thunderbird, Audacity that you can look here and download them. And now next you also need to configure your firewall and Ubuntu comes with a firewall called UFW that is uncomplicated firewall installed by default but it is not enabled by default. So what you have to do type a simple command here sudo space UFW space enable hit the enter key type the password for your current user hit the enter key again and the firewall is active and enable on your system startup message will be appearing up and now number 60 you also need to back up your system and it is always a good idea to back up your system to protect your data and setting in case of a hardware failure 
or any other kind of issues. Now Ubuntu comes with a backup tool called Deja Dub and you can easily access it by clicking on the app dock. Then click on the search box and type here backup. Click on this backup option. And this kind of page will be up. Here you have to click on create my first backup. Now here you will be getting all kind of settings like folders to backup. So what all exactly you want to backup you have to select here. Then you have to click on folders to ignore. So whichever you want to ignore then you can add over here. Then click on forward. Then it will ask you the storage location where exactly you want to store it. You can name that folder name and then you can easily take the data backup. And this was the reason I was recommending you in the previous step that go ahead and add your account like Google and Microsoft account. All right, now let's move with the last recommendation where you have to install a virtual machine. And if you need to run other kind of operating system or test any kind of software application in a different environment, you can install a virtual machine such as VirtualBox or VMware and installing them is a very simple task. Right click on your desktop, click open in terminal. And here you have to type sudo space apt space install space then you have to type the virtual machine name that you want to install. So let's say I want to install virtual box so I will type virtual box. Again hit the enter key type the password and the installation process will be started. So these are the 17 recommendation guys that you should do immediately after installing the Ubuntu machine that will be helping you in a different stages and also helping you in accessing many kind of application without any kind of problem. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.